Hello ladies and gents, welcome to the Paris Car Show. We're checking out the new Dacia Bixer for the first time. This is the extended duster with a bigger cargo space, so no seven seats, you get standard five seats. The Bixer looks amazing. This is the extreme trim. You can see it by all season tires at the bottom. Now the front end looks very similar to the duster. If you come closer, you can see those bolsters on the top of the hood. You can see the new daytime running lights and LED projectors at the bottom. We have a little bit redesigned front grille. It's a little bit more open design. The new Dacia logo and front camera. You can see at the bottom, the grille on the extreme trim has these copper details. There are um, flaps that open up here when you need air intake at higher speeds. You can see the, uh, this is like a rough plastic piece here, gray and then black. This is also, you can see here, recycled material. You can see here the LED fog lights and there are side bends here for better aerodynamics on the new Bixter. You can see all weather continental tires on the off-road model. If we go to the side here, you can see the new alloys, same as on the new Duster. So 18 inch, 215, 60 R18. We saw this on the Duster. You can see the big arches and the side skirt in plastic for off-roading. Now, uh, instead of the plastic piece I like on the Duster, the Bixer has this design element here. You can see the copper side mirrors and copper details there. Over here, you can see the new dash on the Bixer. Now, as you can see here, this one has the heated windshield. We also have double glazed windshield. We have a rain sensor and a lane assist. We have a turn signal in the side mirror, but they're using bulbs. We have a blind spot warning there, and you have here another camera for the 360 parking system. If we check the bottom here, this is nice and tall, so you can go a little bit of light off-roading. You can see here they've added the recycled 20% plastic in this piece. Now, if I back up and show you the profile of the car, I will back up more because I have room. You can see the big steer is really big. Now, what they did here is they just stretched this part all the way to the back and allowed more room in the back seat and in the cargo space. You can see here the tinted windows on the back. The rear door has this aerodynamic handle. And on the top here, you can see these are plastic roof racks on the sides. And then you have this metal piece in this dark gray finish. Now these can be taken out on the extreme package. So you can take them out and put them like that instead of like this. Now let's move to the back. So spoiler, someone opened the boot space. Now checking the mixture, look at this, it really is big and very familiar looking like duster, but if you notice the detail, uh, there's only two lights here, so this one's not illuminated. This little piece is a little bit different than the duster. Of course, uh, there is a signature here to emphasize this is a Bixter. We have now in the color of the vehicle, at least uh, in this case, black shark fin antenna because it is a black roof on the top, gray metallic at the bottom. And we have the exact same spoiler with this aerodynamic look. Now there's a stoplight on the top of it. We back up here, I have room now. You can see the Bixter's end. Now it is nice and tall. We have the new Dacia signature in this copper details. Again, on the extreme trim, Bixter sticker there and four by four. You can see the exhaust pipe at the bottom. Fog light, reverse light, parking sensors. And we have cold LED lights on the rear and the license plate illumination plus backing camera. Now this here, it's a little texture. So on the piano black plastic. If we open the cargo space, this is how it should look. So that's the way 
it looks when the cover is closed. Nice and spacious. If I back up now, there's no one behind me. You can see that. I'm a two meter tall person or 6.6 in feet. So uh, that's for the height comparison. It opens nice and tall. On the top, you have this anchor point. You can close it manually. So these anchor points, you will find plenty of them in the car. You can put some lights or similar stuff on those. Now, if you pull this, let it go, it's gonna stop here. Then if you raise it up, you can see the mechanism here. You can open it so two levels. You can see it's super roomy. Now someone has knocked down the middle seat, which is also a sort of armrest. And here you can see this is nice and flat. You get this double uh, rubber textile carpet. And as you can see here, uh, this is like a double shelf. So this one opens up. There's a full, full size spare wheel. And then there is the second one that can open up all the way. Now we have all uh, season tires all fitted on the car, but you get a summer tire as a spare one. Not sure why they didn't match that one. You can see here you get the tool on the side for changing the tire. Now, if we put this mat back into position, let's check the left side. You can knock down here the seats. Look at this, this is Dacia. They've added the easy option to knock the seats. You don't have to go around to the side to lower those. Uh, huge space on the left side here. You have these lights here so you can see a lot better now. So this one can be angled. You can take it out so you have this little point here. So you can actually put this light here on the top as well. For example, so you can have this illuminated or you can put it here. So very practical details. There are grocery hooks here, you can see that. And on the right side, we have a warm light. Above it, there's a 12 outlet. Again, knocking down the seat option. Uh, a little bit less space here. I'll add to that. You can see here uh, on the right side, you have two grocery hooks on the left, only one. Now, if someone has returned the seat into its original position, you can see the molding for the cup holders and phone mounts. Seats knock down either 60, 40 or 40, 40, 20. So the middle can go down as you saw. Close that up and let's get to the back. Good opening and closing sound. Doors open very wide, not 90, but fairly wide. Now you have good seals here stretching all the way around and the doors go all the way down. So when you're washing, there won't be too much water on the step. Inside is the same materials in the duster. So everything is hard plastic on the back. You have power and fully automatic power windows, small pockets here, speaker there. Now this is nice and deep. You get this all weather floor mats from Dacia. And checking the seats, we have this cloth copper stitching and then this recycled plastic material I'm personally not a huge fan of this in summer they're really awful because you just stick to them I wish they were perforated their isofix points there and over here should be a little tap you pull and then you can knock down the seat now it is a bit dark inside uh, but there are lights and you can see here there's a seatbelt a liner so it might cover this one so put it like that perhaps but if it's your car you're gonna know uh, how to operate your seat let's jump inside now inside we have really a lot of room for your feet for your knees we have this textile seat on the back with big pockets and over here there's another uh, anchor here you have this cup holder there's more anchors on it so you can uh, use it as a multifunction tool you can see here two usb c's that are illuminated in this case they're covered so not maybe the most practical place to put this and you can see here i forgot if we had ac vents on the duster but i think it's the first time i see on a dacha 
that you actually do have air vents. I gotta check that out if there are vents on the duster. I completely forgot now from top of my head, but I think this is the first time we're seeing one in Dacia. Here for the front driver, uh, nothing for the front passenger, you have the lumbar support. You push it like that. And this, this is kind of almost comfy, but a bit on the stiff side. Actually, they're the same. Um, yeah, comfortable enough. Uh, nice and wide, I think, uh, since there's so much room here, if you remove this, you could squeeze a third person. The transmission tunnel is a bit taller, but not super tall, and it's a bit wide. Now, if I lower this, you can see that. And if you want to knock this one down, you have to use a little tab here. So that's your armrest, a bit Spartan looking. You can put your phone here and you can see the back now when it's opened. So I wish someone would make me close that so we can show you how it looks close. But uh, anyways, uh, you have this huge uh, windows in the back. So there's a lot of light coming inside. And look at these lights. These are from the Renault Group. So you have this new fancy lights on the back uh, because you have a banner roof let's close the uh, door now the back is open okay, but yeah. I think we have standard Dacia closing sound we also have a little uh, grocery hook or oh, excuse me grocery uh, it could be a grocery hook for your rear passengers but it's more like uh, for a shirt here or for your uh, sports jacket <clears throat> now no adjustable uh, seat belt and uh, looking at the top, they didn't add any um, any handles on the top. Now headspace, uh, again for two meter tall person, uh, I can straighten up my back. I'm touching with my head, so I cannot straighten up my neck 100%, almost there. But if you don't spec the panel roof, uh, there will be a plenty of headspace for even the tallest person in your family. Now uh, front looks more or less uh, the same as the new duster, so we're gonna check it out. Uh, there are other people filming, so we'll wait for them to finish up. So guys, let's check the front. Same opening and closing sound. We have the same interior as in the duster. They've added some uh, this uh, artificial leather imitation, but again, recycled plastic material here. And the rest is hard plastic. Uh, you can see the nice big speaker here in the front doors. You can lock the rear if you have kids. All our windows fully automatic. You can control uh, and fold the side mirrors electronically. Now you can see the paddles there and some of the sharp eyes will notice there's a start stop button there. They probably disabled the one on the top of the car show and try to hidden that one there. But uh, it's a demo car. Uh, but I think this is a finished product. Now, uh, there's another speaker there, and uh, seats, uh, manual seats, you can push up to slide back and forward, up and down, uh, tilt uh, in the duster, and I believe now in all the rest of the Dacia fleet, in the 2025 mile of the year, they have uh, changed the seats, they add a thick layer of foam and then a soft layer of foam, they improved the seat quality because it was really bad. Uh, like in a short journey, you get a butt pain now these seats are finally comfortable and you can see the Bigster has this uh, dual color here now this is the extreme trim um, kind of looks like a journey trim and the duster color combo so if I'm not mistaken maybe I've mixed it up uh, but you do have those copper details and you know this is the extreme by the tires I've mentioned all weather tires uh, or excuse me all season tires electronic parking brake steering column is manual if you add the top with this panel roof and uh, let's jump inside. Now, let me close the door. In closing sound, there is a, a few doors open on the car. Now, uh, I'm gonna switch to wide lens just for a moment. Now we have a familiar interior. It is uh, the same as the new duster. If I zoom back in. Uh, you can see the steering wheel, it's a little bit to the side, but we have this uh, three-spoke steering wheel. Uh, flat top and bottom, uh, it's nice and squishy, and we have this smooth leather, you have the cruise control settings and uh, view settings here, 
So a little bit uh, different for the Bixster. I see the animations are a little bit different. They are nice and fast on this digital cockpit. And the digital cockpit really is uh, top of the line for the Duster uh, and Bixster in this case now. Uh, just to check on the sides, we have the uh, light controls, wipers, and for the uh, music, I'm pretty sure you already know that. Here we have the my personal setting. You can disable uh, the annoying new EU regulation speed change thing. Gym noise, you can here disable the traction. You can control the height of the LED headlights. Auto start stop off. So no blanks, that's a nice uh, looking there. So really dislike the blank buttons. You can here close or open the air vents. We saw that, that in the duster, we have the speakers on the top. Now the dash is hard plastic, but uh, let's be realistic. You and I were gonna touch no, the dash, at least not in this car. And you have this, another mount for the phone. So uh, this one, I think you have to press underneath. There is a button, it's kind of hard uh, to demonstrate that, but uh, it can be taken off. So you have to press in so you can see that grab mechanism so you can have it without that or with the phone mount uh, right there i'm going to return it later it's a bit difficult with one hand uh, new infotainment nice and fresh and fast finally uh, if you look at uh, the rest of the fleet with the old infotainment these are slow these are nice and fast look at this this moves nice and fast you have android and apple carplay uh, standard you have the all road information here you can have the cameras on if you're going off-roading driver assistance so here you can personalize and disable uh those pesky um new overspeed audible warning look at this you have blind spot all the good stuff follow distance parking and so on Again, same as the new duster. We have even the heated steering wheel and the uh, heated front seats, which is nice. And in this case, as I showed you, we have the heated windshield on the Bigster. AC controls are at the bottom, uh, part of the Renault group. These are really nice looking. Uh, you have the automatic. I think the car is again in a demo mode, so it's disabled. Uh, and here you have a little compartment, same as the duster, 12 outlet, two USB C's that are illuminated, so two on the back, two on the front. Um, this is rubberized, you can put a phone here, although I don't think it has the QI charger. And then here we have the uh, six speed manual, uh, push up for the reverse. And uh, you have here driving modes, so for all of these terrain modes, so snow, mud, sand, uh, you have the eco, you have the downhill assist. Now that's also a clever feature when you're going off-roading. So the car will uh, brake for you and you have here two cup holders. Very spacious glove compartment. You can just push it down or take it up. So plenty of space and you can put your uh, maybe change here or parking cards. Glove compartment is nice and spacious. You have a pin holder, documents holder, again change, and you have a little warm light inside. Uh, for the front, plenty of headroom, and on the back view here, a good overview in the middle mirror. It's nice and wide, although you can see further behind you. On the top here, we have passenger airbag information. You have the new emergency call. And button plus plus you have the shade uh, would be this one and the uh, banner roof opening and you have these touch lights from the Renault group. Now uh, part of the Renault group you get this new uh, gray textile with this black so it's a nice combo looks more posh and here we have a warm light matches the uh, lights in the interior and the cargo area you have here the uh, beauty mirror and the little document holder let's see if this extends so it's almost covering everything this whole part is not covered it does not extend same as the new uh, duster but overall this is a, a nice addition to the dacha fleet you have a even larger suv the duster was amazing uh, budget suv 
maybe not so budget anymore if you go for the hybrid and the uh, off-road uh, trim here. I'm gonna put this one back. But uh, again, excellent SUV for a budget. Let's get out. Um, I'm gonna pop the bonnet, check what's underneath, and wrap it up. Push to the left, and here we have the petrol. Now, in this case, uh, there is a new petrol, uh, so I'm gonna cover it because there, there's a lot of people walking here and trying to take pictures. There's washer fluid there, so we have a new engine. I'm gonna actually go and show it to you. Okay, someone wants to take a picture. Anyways, uh, that was the duster. We're gonna go to the engine to show you the new engine, so stay with me. So in the new Duster, or excuse me, we keep mixing the cars, it looks the same. The new Bigster, we're gonna get the new hybrid, 155 horsepower, you can see here, full hybrid. It's the uh, 1.8 liter, 50, 155 horsepower. Um, this is all in French, which I don't know, but here's the new engine setup, and you can see here for the new hybrid, if you go for the hybrid option you get a new powertrain you have the battery on the rear so you really don't notice the battery in the cargo space um, actually let me just go back to the home screen so I'm just gonna put it to English so you can see the new gearbox so we have a small battery that's self-charging when you're driving located in the cargo now uh, that one's not the automatic uh, excuse me not the hybrid because you could get our automatic that one was the manual in that case uh, it's the petrol now let's go home here uh, there are six driving modes here uh, for the different terrain options all electric energy recovery so I won't go through all of this, you have that on the configurator and on the web pages. But you can see here the new petrol engine for the hybrid system. If you option the hybrid system, it's a naturally aspirated four cylinder, 1.8 liter, so that's plus 0.2 liters. That major difference, uh, maybe for, for you thinking of the tech specs, but it is a improved version okay uh, here you can see the cut of the engine you can see the pistons inside now you can see the electric starter now there will be mild hybrids there will be hybrids and uh, here's the interesting part echo g 140 horsepower so mild hybrid 48 volt system with the lpg tank so they improve the LPG Echo G it has the small battery here 0.8 kilowatt hour this is the mild hybrid system again we have the uh, electric generator so it helps the car start smoother and then it uses the juice but when you're braking you're charging the battery and then you have the classical petrol there you can see the cut here where the battery is located your uh, LPG tank uh, your petrol is on the front obviously to go to the English so you can see that I'm not gonna go through this whole video because it's gonna be long but I just wanted to show you the new setups so uh, the one there is the petrol and it's gonna quickly run but this is the new Bigster journey trim now you're gonna notice that it comes on standard summer tires they come down you can see those are summer tires these are Michelin e primacy and if you see that one those are the continental tires so that's the difference exterior wise you can see that the Bigster and the, I believe this would be the journey trim 
has uh, white details there, so no those no copper details. You can see a blue color, uh, black side mirrors, and black uh, roof. And I really love this car. You can see the new alloys also. These are the different alloys. Look really beautiful. And the back end on the journey trim has the Dacia in white. So this one is the hybrid. You can see big and then the hybrid sticker underneath. Again, really nice ground clearance. It's It looks a bit taller and I think it is uh, than the uh, Duster, but just a beautiful new SUV from Dacia. So guys, quick look at the journey trim. Look at this, you get electronic seats in the Bigster. So this is at least uh, for up and down and for the tilt there. Uh, you can see the textile in the journey trim. You can have the panel roof. And just to jump inside here, um, I just forgot completely. Uh, so on the duster, you have a TFT screen. This was a digital screen in the Bigster. And look at this, this is the uh, automatic because this is a hybrid you have a parking brake and uh, you have this taller um, middle bridge so I think this is way better because this is uh, on this level with the armrest unlike the duster where it's low so this is uh, more practical better looking design wise and you can see here the open little panel roof you have the shade you can open the shade so that is very nice i really love the bigster i think this is going to be the next hit in value for money uh, this is the hybrid setup so here you have the energy flow uh, again probably hybrid was my favorite setup in the duster uh, i think it's going to be great in the new bigster as well and just a quick look at the beautiful blue metallic color on the Bixter. You can see Bixter Hybrid just to show you also the cargo space. By the way, you have power tailgate in Dacia. Nice feature. When you open this cover, you can see here the Hybrid doesn't have room for a spare tire, but you can see this, you can see this uh, double layer shelf. So. You can use the extra space at the bottom. Nice and practical details in the Bigster. I'm gonna wrap it here. Thanks for watching. If you wanna see more from, again, All Season Tires, if you wanna see more from Paris Car Show, do subscribe and click the bell to get notified when I upload more videos.